Uh, my name is Tingane Shaluku. I come from uh, Pumalanga province, a uh, little town side, a small town called Malelane. Uh, I always uh, saw myself uh, wearing a lab coat, working uh, in a lab, doing uh, something extraordinary. At that time, I thought it would be something like chemistry, mixing chemicals, or being a medical doctor, something like that. I never really thought of working into electronics and building supercomputers. I was recruited recruited by Professor Bruce Milado, I showed an interest in learning software and I, I guess I was at the right place at the right time and he was like, okay, we have some software activities available at CERN. You will go to CERN and you will be trained there and then you basically become integrated as part of CERN staff from uh, the VETS group. The Atlas experiment is basically uh, a, a huge uh, detector which has been built around the Large Hadron Collider. It is, it is uh, one of the detectors which was used to detect uh, the Higgs boson particle. With uh, the discovery of the Higgs boson, the Large Hadron Collider itself is being upgraded in order to increase the potential for new discoveries. So the Atlas detector will also undergo uh, upgrades in order to cope with uh, the upgrades of the Large Hadron Collider. The current readout electronics are not equipped to read out massive amounts of data at a, a short amount of time. So what happens is that the readout electronics themselves will be redesigned in order to cope with the massive amount of data which will be uh, imposed by the large luminosity. My role in uh, with the upgrades, I'm still working on the data acquisition software, modifying the same, the same software we're using currently in Atlas Experiment and modifying it to work on new electronics prototypes which we aim at, at using in, uh, in phase two in 2022. In the upgrade, we'll basically be reading out data at uh, 9.6 gigabits per second. So it is huge amounts of data. And uh, that's why they, we also employ a three level trigger system. So the ones which do not contain any interesting signatures or events, it's filtered out and it, it's just thrown away. The electronics, it's, it's, it's very high cutting edge technology. So it is designed in such a way that it can withstand the ever increasing uh, technological advancements. So in 10 years, we'll still be uh, using state of the art technology without having to worry much about uh, what's new in the market.